I think it's just a quick video. Well, it's just on my mind, actually. I was looking at... Um, well, just thinking about the past. And thinking about the fact that people right now can find it difficult to believe in God. And yet we believe in all the stuff about the past. Which, when you think about it, that's pretty incredible. Yeah, really, that, that, is, that is quite amazing. That we can find it quite easy to believe in, you know, all these things in the past. The pyramids, what happened there. You know, things like, um, I mean, in the UK, I was thinking the other day about um, the amount of wars that have happened in the UK. Yeah, the fact of, um, you know, in the UK we were invaded by the Romans, we were invaded by the Vikings and the Normans and <laughs> constant battling going on over the years. You had battles with France and you had battles between the War of the Roses, the North and the South. Well, actually that was Lancaster and Yorkshire, wasn't it, the War of the Roses, yes. But then you got the Battle of Hastings, which is further down, and continuously all around, all over, there's been major battles going on. And just thinking for a second, we know that history, and we believe that history, even though we live in a time when it really is incredible, incredibly difficult to believe that people ever lived like that. But they did. As I say, it's yeah. They did live out that. And we know they did. We know that, that history is history. Yeah. There are records pointing to that and pointing to you know how people fought in wars then and we know that that was the case. Yeah, and we know that people lived in the ways that they lived. We know that when you had, um, what's it called, the plague, the Black Plague, how that affected not just the UK but Europe and you know, China, Japan as well. Horrendous. The amount of death. And people would just be chucking their bodies out on the street. You know, people coming to collect the bodies. And again, we know that that's the case and we believe it. But believing in God is, for some reason, a very, very difficult thing to believe in. But it struck me for a second that believing in the stuff of the past is also a very, very difficult thing to believe in. And yet we believe in that. We find that, you know, a very easy thing to believe in because we have records of that and we, we believe in those records even though, you know, the records are written by those who won. So they could easily lie and yet we believe everything they said basically. Um, yeah. Well, I just watched again, it was Al Murray talking about... Um, name a nation and we've been at war with them and we, we've beaten them more and well for the Britain, Britons that's there's a lot of truth to that an awful lot of truth to the history of Great Britain it's been a very warring invading nation but it was originally invaded by others and then it got the um, the idea of invading you know probably took it from the people that invaded us in the first place but yeah that was the history you, know, you can see here part of the reason why I chose this video for this, song, this topic is because that old ruins was a palace yeah I mean the thickness of the walls are incredible and you think that people lived like that they had buildings that were made probably 
quite a few sizes too big because the walls had to be so incredibly thick to insulate. That's how people lived then. Yeah, incredible. But as I say, we've got the evidence of that. And even though, compared to where we live now, we think it's insane. How, how could people live like that? But yeah, they did. Yeah. I mean, the walls are thicker than that path. Which is insane, isn't it, really? Because when you think each wall is thicker than that path, yeah, the size of a room would need to be so much bigger than the size of our rooms now. Yeah. Quite amazing, really. Yeah, but as I say, yeah, we can believe in stuff like that, but believing in God, yeah, we don't want to do that. Well, because hope. Hope is the thing. Hope is, is the thing which is, yeah. And that's for people who do believe and people don't. Hope is a very, very difficult thing to reach for. And that's because of the fact that if you grab it, and it ends up being false hope that can be quite damaging. So sometimes it's better not to hope than to hope because if you've had a lot of false hope, then yeah, chances are it'd be false hope again, so why would you risk it? So believing in God, God believing in God is really about hope. It's about hoping that when we die, we go on to something else. Not just when we die, but also when we're alive. You know, is there a way that we can live a better, more successful life? And the reality to that question is, well, God has to show us that. And so far, he hasn't. Yeah, on a bigger, on a big scale. On tiny scales, as in, you know, there are a few people scattered around the world who are living a fantastic life doing things according to his will and his way. But are we seeing that en masse? No. Yeah. Is God going to do that? Well, that's up to him. I, I, I hope so. I believe that is the case. But it's up to him to do that. I can't do it. Only he can. For me, I'm I'm in a situation where I monitor hope because there really is nothing else to do. That's the reality. No, there is nothing else. There's nowhere else to go. Because I don't just believe in God. I know that that is the case. And, you know, so when you know that, where can, you can't go anywhere else. Yeah. So you might as well be fully in. Yeah. But put it this way, I can understand how for people, even in people in church, I can understand how they want a church environment which is gentle and nice and non-challenging. I get it. I do, I get it. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. As I say, you come out of a tough world environment and you don't want to come into a tough church. I get that. That's what I've been in all the time in the 28 years as a tough church, where a church is tough to be in. And I understand that people don't want that. Well, for example, yeah. I say the people in the church that I was in, they might be disappointed with me, how that turned out. But no one is disappointed as I am with them. See how thick these walls are? See what I mean? That path is nowhere near as thick as that. <laughs> yeah, ridiculously thick. Just insane. Yeah. Yeah. But what I mean when we see that, we're amazed. How could people live that way? 
Now, we see windows there. Did they have glass? Well, no, actually. You know, these places, they didn't. Because these places, when they were built before, they knew how to use glass in that way. Or how to use um, sand in that way to produce glass. Is that how they... I don't know how they produce glass. It's... um. Yeah, however they produce glass and have glass so they could do it that way. Yeah, flatten it out and make it see through. They didn't know how to do that. Yeah, once they did, they started to use it. But even then, it was only the rich and powerful, which would have been the people that, that, that had these sort of places. But that's why they have massive fires. Small windows, massive fires. Yeah, because you had to have huge fires to compensate for the fact that the air would be coming in cold air especially during winter but that's why you had smaller windows see now we have very big windows in our homes because we have our homes insulated and we have glass we have double glazed glass now yeah or triple but the point of it is is that we we've we've improved our way of living to the point that yeah it's difficult to imagine people living in the way that they were living then. Yeah. So, there you go. As I say, I, I do understand very much how, yeah, reaching for hope is, yeah, I understand that. But I think really you have one life and whatever choice you have rather than, you know, especially if you're in church, yeah, you might as well be in it fully if you can be in it. So there you go. You take care. God bless. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.